Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to my kitchen. Making pizza dough is as easy as making a bowl of Campbell's soup. That's right. I can make pizza dough in a glass bowl with a spoon. No kneading, no yeast proofing, no mixer. I won't even touch the dough with my hands until I roll it out of the bowl to shape it. And then I'll bake it in a toaster oven. Let me show you how I do it. I'll be using six ounces of water, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon instant yeast, one teaspoon extra virgin olive oil, and one and a half cups bread flour. Let's get started. Six ounces water. One teaspoon salt. I use everyday table salt. One teaspoon instant yeast, sometimes referred to as bread machine yeast. One teaspoon extra virgin olive oil. And I'll give it a quick stir. Now the dry ingredients. One and one half cups bread flour. I use a scoop and shake method for measuring flour. This recipe is very forgiving and you don't have to be exact. Next, I'll combine the wet and dry ingredients. The objective is to hydrate the flour. Watch. All you need to do is stir it with the handle end of a spoon and it will come together and form a shaggy ball. Then tumble the dough to combine the moist flour on the bottom with the dry flour on top. I'll scrape the side of the bowl to get the flour into the dough ball. And we're done. All we need to do now is cover the dough with plastic wrap and place it in a warm, draft free environment for proofing. No need turbo pizza dough. Should be proofed for 1 hour and 30 minutes in a warm, draft free environment. The ideal temperature for proofing is 78 to 85 degrees. In the summer, I proof on the counter or place the bowl in direct sunlight. But on colder days, I proof in the toaster oven. Place the dough in the oven. Turn the oven on and heat it until it reaches 90 to 110 degrees. Then turn the oven off, and you'll have a warm, draft-free environment for proofing. The dough is proofed for an hour and 30 minutes and more than double in size. It's time to make the pizza. I'll start by drizzling two 9-inch pie pans with olive oil. The first step is to degas, pull, and stretch the dough. Watch. The action I'm doing is very similar to that of a dough hook. I'm expelling the gases, pulling, and stretching the dough. Next, I'll use the roll to coat method for dusting the dough with flour. I'll just dust the dough and side of the bowl with flour, then roll the dough in the flour to coat. It'll make the dough a lot easier to handle. And I'll roll the dough out of the bowl onto the work surface. Then I'll lightly dust the dough and work surface with flour. It'll prevent the dough from sticking. I'm going to divide the dough into two portions and set one aside. I like to roll the dough in flour, shape into a little round ball, then press firmly to flatten and use a pizza roller to shape. The dough is about 9 inches. It's ready for the pan. I'll put it in the pan and then shape it to the pan. I shape the dough and it's time to add the toppings. I'm going to be making one cheese and one pepperoni pizza. I'll be using two heaping tablespoons pizza sauce, one eight ounce package provolone mozzarella cheese, and sliced pepperoni. I'll start with the pizza sauce. One heaping tablespoon per pizza. Then I added the cheese. 
I use an 8 ounce package of cheese and evenly divide it between the pizzas. A layer of meat for the pepperoni pizza and they're ready for the oven. When I bake the perfect little 9 inch pizza in the regular oven, I bake them at 450 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes, but my toaster oven bakes hotter, so I'll bake them at 400 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Toaster ovens come in various sizes, and you may want to slightly adapt your baking time and temperature to your oven. I put the perfect little 9 inch pizzas in the oven one at a time and bake them for 8 minutes. Well, what do you think? These are beautiful little pizzas that everyone is sure to enjoy. Did you ever think it could be this easy to make homemade, great tasting pizza? This recipe and others like it can be found in Introduction to No Need Pizza, Restaurant Style Flatbread, and more. Thanks for watching.